Okay. Is it gamma? 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 Is it what is vocabulary, yes, <laughs> if I can ask you? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. The thing that comes into mind for me, thinking about vocabulary, yeah. it's the words that the children learn mm -hmm. and that they use to speak and to write. Okay. Wena, what's your understanding of vocabulary? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really how many words do I know mm -hmm. as a learner, yes. right? Can I use them? Mm. In a sentence, can mm. I can I use them when I'm talking? Mm. Do I know the meaning of those words? Yes. So, as many as I know, mm -hmm. now that's my vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, nice. that's basically that. makes sense. Okay, yeah. now I think our main purpose mm. <laughs> for for now is yes. really talk about how, how as a teacher, how mm. do I develop vocabulary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how in do you my develop class, In my class. How do you develop vocabulary? Do you want us class? to start with um, the explicit teaching? I of, think so. Because I'm interested to learn from you, but when how in your own classroom do you develop vocabulary explicitly? Okay. I think I might learn some things that I would want to try in my class as well. Okay. And I'll share as well what I do. Okay, let's start with um, uh, is it Kosa or English, for example, okay. our languages? Mm. Although you use other, during other lessons as well, like yes. life skills, you do and develop maths. those vocabulary. Yes. Yeah. But let's specifically look at mm -hmm. a language. Yeah. How many lessons do you have mm. in a language? For example, what mm -hmm. lessons do you have in your, in your grade two? You have? Uh, shared reading, shared reading, read aloud, mm -hmm. um, listening and speaking activities, yeah. writing. Yeah. Um, so yeah. in all those lessons, you get an opportunity to develop a vocabulary. Sure. Yeah? Mm. For example, you take a shared reading. Okay. Yeah? Mm. Before you do mm. your story, Mm -hmm. You introduce learners to the new words. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, for example, go grade mm -hmm. one, up in mm -hmm. I said, okay, you don't, you know these words, mm -hmm. right? You use mm -hmm. them every day. Yes. It's not, sometimes it's not new words, mm -hmm. but you I know them, but you words. have these words, yeah. you're using them, but yes. you don't know how you, how they how look. You, yes. Okay, because the story mm -hmm. was easy, was just connecting to what they do before yeah. they come to school. Yeah. So, um, and most of the time mm -hmm. in shared reading, mm -hmm. we have, um, new words, mm -hmm. big words, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you must have those in your flashcard. Sure. So when you're teaching a shared reading, when you're doing your shared reading, mm -hmm. you will then mm -hmm. teach those um, words and say, okay, mm -hmm. what is this word? Mm -hmm. So they, they say the word, mm -hmm. you help them say the word, mm -hmm. and uh, the meaning. Yes. And can you use it in a sentence, mm -hmm. for example? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you will have that collection of words. Mm -hmm. So what I do, um, is to then take those words and put them on my wall. Yes. For example, if you look at this ah, one, yes. Very so, nice. Yeah. Mm. So that's the ones, as it is, mm. they are coming from the Your shared reading yes, activity. The book that I used mm. this week. Mm. Um, another lesson, for example, mm. my phonic lesson, mm. I also have amagama asuka mm. gui. Good phonics, good lesson yam yezandi. Where I say, okay, mm. we're looking at this sound. Sure. And these are the words mm. with this sound. Mm. I mean, so those are those words that yes. you have. Yes. But now I start with that wall first, the mm -hmm. other one. Mm -hmm. And from there they come to the phrase. To your word. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's like mm. this week's area. Sure. Mm. So, um, um, yeah, what other lesson again? Oh, we said um, shared reading. Shared reading. No read aloud. Okay. Oh, read Even just to go back, yeah. so then you take out those words, ne? Yes. and you've taught them nicely and explicitly. They know how to spell them, they know what they mean, and they can mm. use them in different ways. Mm. Then you put them up. Why do you put them up? Okay. Well, this may be obvious, but I think it. Why, yeah. why do you put them up? Okay, in one, I want them to, to refer to them all the time. Sure. Not only them, but I want to say during the week, okay, 
who can make a sentence using this word, Very like nice. to con mm. consistently mm. look and refer to those words, mm. not, right? And then they use them sometimes in the, during their writing. Mm. And I said, okay, what words can you take mm. um, from our words of the week that you can mm. use when you are writing, mm. right? And um, that's, I think that's... So you that's an assessment in that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice, very, very, very nice. So, yeah, cool. writing as well. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's, that's exactly that. Cool. Oh, and the read aloud. Mm. Remember, you read aloud, mm. uh, you, choo you try to choose a... A book. A book that mm. is richer yes. in vocabulary. Mm. So, mm. even with those words, mm. I use flashcards mm. and um, go over the meaning, go mm. over the form, like mm. how is it written? Yes. Right? Yeah. What sounds are in this and word? That word? Yes. Yeah. Mm. And how do we pronounce it? That's yes. very important. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And then the meaning. So, mm. with that's the read aloud as well. Mm. And with the listening and speaking, mm. sometimes I use a poster. <laughs> Right? Very during, nice. Yes, during yeah. my listening and speaking. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is to look what is mm -hmm. on that poster mm -hmm. and write some words that yes. I can see and then attach them next to whatever thing that is on the poster. Mm -hmm. you, 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 there are quite a number of opportunities that you, yes. you get. In fact, throughout yeah. Yeah. life skills, you can connect. Hence, the themes are, are very important because very it's nice. So. If you, if you mm -hmm. follow a certain theme, mm -hmm. you are able to connect whatever words that you have done in your mm. language mm. lesson to mm. your life skills. Mm. And then there are also maths, <laughs> there's okay, maths for Cape as, as well. well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That you, you can oh. make, sometimes mm. we think that we cannot make e flashcards for the, our maths for Cape mm. but we, we have to make mm. um, um, flashcards for our maths for Cape mm. mm. So mm. yes. Cool. And, and another thing okay. just to add yeah. on to what you're saying is group guided reading mm. is another opportunity that I use to develop the vocabulary oh, yes. from yes. the readers that we use there. Mm. I select the words that I know with that group. It's new to them. They've never heard them before. And then I start doing work around those words. Mm. Kind of like a similar style that you're saying. This is how this word sounds. This is how it is shaped. This is how you'd use it. Mm -hmm. And then I keep repeating the same thing so that it gets into their head. Mm. Because the more you repeat the word, the more it kind of stays in their head and they're yeah. able to remember it. Yeah. And later on, you'll see them mm. comfortably using the word because you've given them enough opportunities yeah. to hear this word over and over again. Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing Missy Papa grade three. Yes, Kage Ababam Kikubangu grade one. You know what she did? She. She takes uh, what she does actually like. I think that's what that's constantly what she's doing. She, mm. she takes the words that um, she's covering throughout mm -hmm. the week, whether in whatever lesson, mm. and mm. ask the learners give each group mm. those flashcards mm. and ask them to build up. Mm. Um, to, to write a, a short story, but mm. they must make use of those words. Very nice. Right? Yo, that's a very good way, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And also it's a nice way of assessing them. Do they really know how to use this word? Mm. And in different, in, like sort of get them to find different ways of using that word in that story that they're writing. I think yeah. that's nice. Like for instance, you could extend this yeah. and get your kids to write a nice story using those very same words. Okay. Or another form it could be to get them to choose one word and write it in a nice sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Jane, where's my decision, John? And then they'll talk about e reinforcing. Mm. You know what I do here mm. at Boko Grade 1? I, I love games. This is a very nice game. I love game, creating actually. word games. Very attractive. Yes. Mm. It's handmade though, don't mind that. Yeah, very creative. <laughs> yeah. But you actually... This is very nice. You, if you get to laminate this, mm. yeah, or to, to put e plastic, yeah. Yeah, you are able to write over and over again. Oh, wow. So you can reuse yes. it over if and I, over. Yes, exactly. This is very and, smart. Um, so, Mm. Each group, let's say I'm working with a group that sure. I know that I'm, because you are always having a purpose, most, mm. right? If you see that this group is struggling with certain mm. words, mm. so you make this mm. and okay, so what they do, tati dai, but tati dai, see, and so mm. one, two, that learner needs to read aloud that word. 
Very nice. I know. Both of them were to no, wear no, the no. lead. They landed at the dice yes, then. Yes. Very and nice. And then the next person, Ali Fondege. Ali Fondege. Gamay Matrasha. Ali Nze Nakui. Nakui Sivakalis. Nakui Sentence. Yes. And then Gamay Kukulda. Ali Bey Game. And this is how I think kids learn the most. When they play a game. And then the button, the button, the pause. Yes, they get to read Gamay Matrasha. If a little group mm. that is struggling with the sounds, yes. I just simply clean it mm. and then put in on the sound. Mm. But it's important that they they consistently see and yes. use mm. these words. The words that are yeah. introduced in the class. Oh, another thing mm. in the, that I saw that was very interesting. He net he word network. Mm. I think so. Yes. What word. is that? So mm. you would have. A circle, mm. Yeah? Mm. and write a word. Play, play. play. Mm. Now mm. you ask them to th to to think when when you when to think mm. when they when they see word play or hear the word play. Mm. What are they? Th what what comes to their mind? Mm. Right. Mm. Meaning that you want them to mm. give you words that mm. they associate with with play. Games. And, yeah, mm. games. and so on and so mm. on. So, mm. what have you done now? You mm. have extended the size of yes. vocabulary. They have made, they have looked at one word mm -hmm. and they have come up with different words that they associate with. With that word. Yes, with so, that also word. that speaks to the depth is yes. that song. So, if vocabulary is not only expanding, yes. but also they're able to use that word yes. in different ways and in meaningful ways yes. for yes. one. Yes. Perfect. I love the depth. You know what the depth what it refers to. It mm. refers to, okay, do I know this word? Mm. Okay, here's this. Yes. Do I know the meaning of this word? Mm. Do I know how, how to, to use, use this it. word? Mm -hmm. What parts are, are mm. making up this word? Mm. Right? Mm. And how is this word mm. connecting to other words? Yes. Do you understand? Mm. And how can you use it in different contexts? Yes. This very same yes. word. So, yeah, to mean different things. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing that we always forget about Tina's dishes in Jalabon and Abafunda Gayo vocabulary is ways, let's say, we are and you're not specifically teaching them certain words, mm. but you're reading them, let's say, through maybe a shared reading yeah. or read aloud. Yeah. As you're reading, I think Abandu want to catch certain words that once you found Anje, one who's pinned up pinned they catch them without you even knowing why Abandu want to they 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 learning new words. Um, from there, I need to ask you because you can't tell me what I'm going to find. I'm going to find the one who's going to find story or a read aloud. Or sometimes, let's say, near figure on Monday, you have your news of. The week, Nikhilip yeah. happens, and you as a teacher, you start by saying, "Guti, my weekend was A, B, and C." Yeah. yeah well, mm -hmm. Then you get the second person to say, "Okay, before you tell us the news of your weekend, start this way." Yes. Yeah, well, yes. that way you're mm -hmm. giving them new vocabulary of mm -hmm. how to express themselves mm -hmm. in different ways. Yeah. yeah, well, and it's done in a very nice, relaxed way. Kids are simply sharing good to what happened over the weekend. Yeah. And they're learning something new, exactly. actually. Yeah, well, exactly. So I, was, I don't know, what do you call them? Incidental learning? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. one of the things that you, you, you they just learn without mm -hmm. really paying attention that, oh, well, now it's teacher. a formal, explicit, exactly. like, teaching yeah. of such mm. a word. And also, another way is to have a, a rich classroom, Absolutely. print rich classroom, yeah. right? Mm. Where you would have things that, um, words that learners can read, or posters mm. that mm. learners can actually read, mm. so gaining a, a vocabulary. What other things would you put in your classroom to make it uh, a space that exposes Abandwana to different and rich vocabulary. You know what I want to build, mm. though? I have not done this, mm. but I want to have a, what I call a board of interest. Mm. I don't know, I, I have not mm. decided. Mm. Yes, yeah. but I want to have a space yes. where I put some interesting things, mm. like mm. generally, like any, mm. any topic, but mm. with, with pictures and mm. with with some vocabulary, like mm. not necessarily what I'm going to teach about, but sure. where they can like 
go and see. Mm. So I want to actually work on that. <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be a space where their general knowledge yes. gets developed. Yes. Mm, very yes. nice. Yeah. You know what I, the other thing that I'm thinking about that I've just remembered, a class in Yam, and the seven side to um, uh, develop your vocabulary. Let's say, for instance, we, um, we have a lesson on a topic water cycle yeah. and I asked Mklam Babandwana Guti, how do you think the clouds get formed and by Pindu Leganab? Mklam Numbwane, the way I pen langa I go to, um, I, I, I learned, I, I learned, 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 can you elaborate on that? Yeah. yeah well, so there's a nindila as so that we actually get children to find different ways of explaining yes. themselves or expressing yeah. their understanding yeah. or their knowledge. Yeah. So I think that, different ways of, of, of developing a banana to give a kebla rabbit. Okay, my melak on the booza win. It takes a tear How many words do you want your kids to gain a week? Hmm. Hmm. I think now since we're in term two, and I think they're slowly getting there, my target would be around can be a week. 20, 20 words. Yeah. Yeah. And you in grade one? No, grade one. Now, I, I, you know, I started slowly first. Mm. So, but my target is to at least now, by now, to get mm. to 15 a week. Mm. And then I want to, you know, because it's important that you start them slow mm. and they get used to the importance of developing vocabulary. Yes. And then you, then you increase it. Mm. So, mm. yeah, I'm. So They're in 15, mm, 18, but I'm mm, sure by term three, mm, by the end of the week, I must, mm, they must mm, at least have gained mm, 20. Very nice. Words. Yes. Very nice. I don't know whether I'm pushing them or not. <laughs> Why not? We must push them. These kids are quite <laughs> capable of doing anything. Mm, so, yeah. Mm. Now, let's talk about assessing vocabulary. A because that's ways. important. A lot of ways. Mm. When I, let's start with you. How do you assess yours? Hmm. Mm. Term one, I started, you know, we started with sounds most, ne? Mm. and then I did that whole class uh, mm. whereby they have to pick up, they have, I, each learner has mm. a packet of, of sounds or yes. syllable cards, mm. right? Mm. And I would mm. say a word mm -hmm. and they have to pick it up. Mm. They have to look mm. and then pick up the, the, the syllable or the uh, letter that mm. makes that sound. Mm. But that, that's testing sounds, mm. right? Mm. But we, even with them, with a small group, mm -hmm. I, this mm. caterpillar game also, mm. I use it just As to us, yes, in, yeah. in formal Very assessment. Nice. Okay, who knows what? Mm. How often do you um, run spelling tests? Okay, for is, is spelling, on Fridays, mm -hmm. that's specifically looking at the spelling mm. okay. and mostly, mm. rather than having, mm. like checking if they, are under, they, 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 understand. Yes, they understand. Because so with spelling, when they, you, underst you are assessing mm. whether the kid knows how the word is shaped yes, and how, how it's they, formed. How to write it, yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the spelling. Cool. And um, I would have that dictation sentence mm -hmm. that I tell them like they mm -hmm. I say it and then they they have to try and write but it's not a long was this great one it's, mm -hmm. it's not a long sentence mm -hmm. yeah I think I do pretty much the same thing as what we have like I'm um, spelling tests mm -hmm. of the words that we've done in that week just to check that everyone um, has learned them and you know just to see who has not learned them so that I know who mm -hmm. to kind of like go through yeah. those words again but also the activity that I like to do is using the words that come out, let's say, from shared reading yeah. that we've done in class, discussed and gone over to like tap up sentences and like kind of, I don't know what the word you would use. Yeah. Do you know when you have tap up a sentence yeah. and then you take a specific word so you have a space yeah. for a kid to choose from the words that you've done in class to fill in in those oh, sentences. Oh, they call that closed procedure. Ah, that's what I was <laughs> looking for. That works well, because yeah. then you know you, you can, from that activity you can pick up if a kid is able to okay, use they, that word in a meaningful way. Okay, so they, they initially, do you give them the list of words to choose from? 
I give them the, the list of words to okay. choose from. Yeah, and then the sentences. So they complete they, the sentences. They have to choose the correct word to yes. fill to complete the sentence. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes, that's yeah. closed yeah. procedure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I do that, and that's working very well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's very important because it mm. actually they have to read the sentence. Yeah. And try to make up the meaning and mm. see which word fits mm. to that sentence. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Then the other thing that we have, let's say, once a week is to have like an oral test that is based on the theme that we've done. So it's, let's say for instance we're doing weather or life cycles or yeah. whatever. And so I'd say, okay, now I want you to kind of look at all the notes and all the activities that we've done. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow I want you to give a nice presentation on specifically, let's say we're doing farm animals. I would want one to talk about cow, for instance, and what they know about cow, what it eats and everything. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, they get to use the words and the vocabulary that we've done in class orally and they get to express themselves. It's another way I assess their vocabulary. Okay. Mm. Every month, I'm going to take some of the things that you're doing in your class and start implementing them in my class. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Go and start planning. Okay. Sure. Bye. Bye.